sugar bunnies. So today I have a lot of people into the entries um, for tagging friends and actually in a few videos, the last three that I did, I had a secret word that if you commented it down on the video, then um, you got an entry. So I'm going to go over those and normally I say the names too, but this time there are so many that I can just flash the names in front of you as I do them. So that's what I'm going to do this time, but I will take care of a few that I had um, from the last video that um, I let you guys know that if you happen to see that your comment comes in before the one that I actually call out, then if you screenshot it for me, I can fix that for you and put your name in the next time because, um, and as the people that have that had that happen have seen that it does show up different for me um, than it does for them. So uh, they can vouch for me that it does do that. So um, but this person actually tagged um, right before I went live. So I just missed it on the last one. So I told them I would put their name in. So here's this one. And then they had a few times that their, um, their uh, comment came in first for them. So I fixed that. Uh, one, two, I think it was four times for Girly Games and Toys. This is going to take a little while. So how are you guys? But I just want you guys to make sure that you can see that I am putting them in. And I guess maybe I should just stop folding, but I've already started, so I can't now. So your favorite candy is candy sugar. So is it like rock candy or... Or like sugar cubes. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. So this is just for the last uh, live stream, the comments that um, came in first for someone else on their screen. And maybe I'll do an opening or show you something in between um, when I <laughs> when I do my other ones, the other entries, because there are a lot. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just stop holding them the the next time I do this. So I'll actually go ahead and do the first one now. Um, the third to last video that I did, you had to comment the word carrot. So um, here's everybody's name that did that. Thank you guys. So I said it in there. So if you watch the video all the way through, then you heard it. And this is <laughs> this is a lot. So next time I'm definitely I'm going to just stop folding because when I draw the names, I don't look anyway. So. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but at the same time, um, I feel like, you know, if if it is always happening and then they just miss it, then then it won't be so much fun. So it's okay, but it does take me a while now. There's a, there's more people coming, so. <laughs> but thank you, Winty. So this is just to verify that I'm getting in in there, and maybe there'll come a point where you guys will just trust me and and just believe that I put everything in there because it might become too too many. So, but I thought that would be a fun way to earn extra entries. So, is everybody looking forward to the weekend? I'm going to be busy with videos, so, and it might be hot here. I like the weather, but last weekend it was like so, so super hot. So, those are all the comments for the word carrot. So, I'll go ahead and um, open up something in between the other ones, but I do have more to, um, to give people for, so. I have water and there is a purpose. It's because I have an LOL charm fizz. So, um, and if you're new to this, then um, what I do is I open up something and then question last live stream, I was asking two questions um, per time that I open. And I'm not sure how many questions I have this time around. So it just depends, but as many questions as I wrote, I know I have at least that many blind bags. And so I'll, I know I've got more than that though. So. Um, I'll open this up, ask a question. If you're the first to answer it right, then your name gets put in. And it's that simple. So uh, also in the description, in case you're wondering anything, um, it's down in the description box um, how this goes. So LOL, surprise, Trump is series two. Oh, you know what I just realized is that because they've got series four out, I guess they're not going to do a series four Trump is unless it's coming out a little bit later. But who knows? So inside we'll have three surprises. It will be a ring tattoo, a sticker for the charm, and then the charm itself. Plus you get the little bath bomb and that's pretty cool. I think it's a pink one. It looks like it. Might be two colors. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Oh, this is still stuck to this. Okay. What am I doing with this? There we go. And I see I have an unwanted guest in my room with me. I saw him flying to my house. So we'll name him Fred. 
All right, so here is our checklist, and we'll have a look at that again once we get our charm out. Oops, that's it. It's one-sided. So, uh, wait, wasn't there something on there? Hold on a second. Am I forgetting something? Is my ring tattoo supposed to be in that layer? Where is my ring tattoo? I did not get one. Oh, okay, it's in the next layer. It's in the next layer. All right, here it is. I can get it. I was having trouble with the zippers on that last ball I was opening too. Couldn't get them started. So here is the ring tattoo and sticker. I'm gonna take the tape off. It makes it a little easier. Oh, it's a little puppy. <laughs> That's cute. You know, I've not put on any of the ring tattoos yet. Not a single one. I still have all of them. And then we got a heart, and I know I've got this before, but I can't remember the charm that it goes with. So it's gonna be a surprise for me too. And so let me see actually if I can get this with scissors. Oh, got it all crooked. There we go. Uh, it's gonna be difficult. All right. Here we are. And it is pink, and only pink. Okay, so now that my hands have all this granules on it, actually, I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, here we go. Maybe a little bit closer. I still have to show you guys the name, so. There it is. No, it's a little bit clear if I get closer. And I'm hoping that this doesn't run over. I might have put the water a little bit too high. But fingers crossed, it doesn't. That wouldn't be very good for me. You'd see me panic. But I think it's pretty good. Okay, so in the other video, here are the people who wrote um, wrote the the hidden word, which I'm trying to remember what it was. Sunflower. There's sunflower. It starts with an S. That's why I put that there. So. I'm not going to read all the names, but I'm going to show them. That way you can see they're going in there. <laughs> I do have JoJo questions. Thank you so much, Mike. That's so sweet. Hi there, Fizzy Pop Toys. I got something fizzing right now. <laughs> what was fake? I missed it. So in case you missed the beginning part, um, you can go back and watch the video again. But I have put in some of the names for um, the other uh, the other live stream and also for anyone who commented carrot. So. <laughs> is it is it lagging bad for anybody else? My Internet when I got home, I was I was at a meeting, you guys. So my meeting ran late and then when I got home, my Internet was really bad. That's why it took me so long to um, get online because I just could not get it to hold a stable connection. And I have really good internet too, so um, that was bumming. I was bumming big time. So I didn't want to have to cancel it, but I think it's Friday and everybody gets home and then they use up all the internet and it just pulls everywhere. So this is almost done. I don't see anything floating yet, but I do see something down in there. So we'll go over some more names while we wait for that. Actually, you know what? Let's ask a question. Let's get somebody in there right now. I know you guys are waiting for a question to come. So, are you guys ready? Oh, it's love for you too. Hi. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what to do to fix that. It's just the internet. Everybody's using it. Maybe Fridays aren't a good time. That's usually when everybody is there and can come and visit. Maybe I'll have you guys vote on what days I should do them. Okay, so I have something stuck in my finger. The tape would not come off. Okay, so here's a Disney question, but I do have a lot of different questions, so um, don't worry. Okay, in The Lion King, what kind of animal is Timon? In The Lion King, what kind of animal is Timon? Hi there. <laughs> um, you must be putting some names, Cheyenne. Oh, there's my guy. Not to Marco, let's do this. It's kind of funny. Timon is not a lion. What is Timon? He's not a monkey. Miss Laura's toy room. He's a meerkat. So Timon is a meerkat. 
Miss Laura's toy room got it. And there you go. Miss Laura's toy room. Timon is a meerkat. He's in the movie The Lion King, but he's the little guy. So here are more names. Um, these are the ones that commented Mabel on my last video. So uh, watch for that, you guys. I'm putting words in my videos, and I think next time um, I'll probably just flash through and not fold these because it's taken a little while. But um, yeah, watch my videos and listen very carefully because I'm going to give words in there now, and that will give you an entry into the contest. You just have to comment that word down in the comment section, and you'll get in. So nice way because I know not everybody has. Um, social media and so they can't earn that extra entry by tagging on Instagram because that's what I use the most. I do um, post to Facebook and Twitter but I don't go on there, I just post there. So here is that. We are almost done with these ones but then I have more for the tags so yeah that's definitely what I'm going to do next time instead of folding. And then I can just fold everything after because, and I'll show you in a second of what I do, I have to keep it same. So it is the same when I draw a name. But here we go. So if you guys happened to get your name into any of my prior live streams, it's in this. It's in this bunny right here. And like I promised, I'm going to draw three names. Third place will get 10 prizes. Second place will get 15. And first place will get 20 different prizes. So if you ever got in, even if you want to put the name back in there, um, your name is in here, but if you got into one of like the most recent two, I think, and it was on a white piece of paper, then it's going to be in my next one. So it was on yellow pieces of paper only. So there is that, and I'll do that at the end of the stream. But our fizzy is done, so let's see. Oh, I see what it is. That's what I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. So it's a little beach ball. And the color is kind of green, even though I think they meant it to kind of be yellow. And then I don't really like putting the stickers on these balls because they kind of just don't sit on there right. They're not rounded and it just creases the sticker. So I just saved the sticker. One, once or twice I did put it on, but um, I did um, decide not to start, not to put them on anymore when I got them. So there it is. And these actually go really good on the, um, the the handle part of the big sister ball or on the bag for the keychain but then you can also take the keychain part off and just use it for your big sister or little sister as a little accessory so and that's it and just a reminder it came with this one so this was a series two um charm fizz in our water and it smells really good kind of fruity but i couldn't tell you what kind of fruit just fruity so let's do another question <laughs> Sorry, it's taking so long at the beginning to get it started there. Uh, so this is a Gaming with Jen question, her request. So Gaming with Jen, what color is her hair? Gaming with Jen, what color is her hair, you guys? What color is her hair? Hello, Winter Noel. This is your shout out. <laughs> Hello, Elvira. Elvira Farfan, are you related to Amalia? Brown, 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 no, no. <laughs> brown, brown. Gaming with Jen? Gaming with Jen. Everyone's saying brown. Blue, black, this is gaming with Jen. Okay, I see it, it's blonde, it's blonde. Yeah, she's got blonde hair. Let me make sure I didn't miss it. I'm going to scroll up because everybody said brown and now you're making me think it's brown. And I thought it was brown too, but I thought it was also kind of dirty blonde, but I believe it's blonde. So blonde is what I was looking for. So Mike, I'm going to probably spell it wrong. Mike, unless she's changed it since um, I last saw her, but P-L-U-M-B-O, Palumbo. There we go. All right, so I'll just get through these next ones. Now, these are people who tag friends. They're, I think it was like close to 40. So here we go. And I'll ask another question while I'm doing this and I'll keep an eye on the, um, the comments as they come in. So it's an LD Shadow Lady question for request as well. LD Shadow Lady, 
So she has a boyfriend. What is her boyfriend's name? Oh, let me scroll down real quick. <laughs> LD Shadow Lady, what is her boyfriend's name? Oh, did she change it? Okay, so, all right, well, I was looking for blonde. Because it's her real hair. Did she change her real hair color? So Joel, Joel, Joel. So Erica Eblin, you got it. So I'll write that down. LD Shadow Lady, her uh, boyfriend's name is Joel. Or is it Joel? It's like tomato, tomato. <laughs> so there's a lot. There's a lot, guys. Getting through it. You guys earned them, so I have no problem doing it. I just know you guys are wanting to see, see blind bags opened and questions asked so you can earn more. But yeah, so don't forget, listen in my videos because I do have those hidden words and they'll only be good for the very next live stream before I post, so it's not gonna be continuously good. And I do mark that down in the comments um, or in the description box actually, so that you guys know when it's um, valid to for the next live stream. And hopefully next Friday, I won't be having as many issues with the internet. I mean, it's summer though, and everybody's getting home and everybody's using it. And even though, like I said, I've got some really good internet, it's, it was really laggy. So when I got home, my notifications didn't pop up. So I was worried and I was checking it, but plus it's really hot and people should be out at the beach. They shouldn't be at home on the internet. They should be out having fun. Here, anyway. Not everybody gets to live by the beach. They don't live super close, but it's close enough to go to. And there we go. That is all the names. Look at how full this is already, you guys. But I'm glad I figured out another way that you can enter without having to have uh, Instagram or social media. So, all right. So let's ask another question. You guys have been waiting. Okay, so here's a request for a game. Uh, it was a game called Kirby, and I love this game. It's a little pink puffball guy. He's not really puffy. He's just, like, chubby, but um, like a marshmallow. Okay, so you got to know the game to know this one, so I don't know how many people are going to know it, but whoever requested it probably will. So in the game Kirby, what does Kirby do so that he can fly? He does something so that he can fly. What is it that he does? What does Kirby do so that he can fly? Hey there, Carolina. <laughs> nope, the giveaway's still going on. And you don't have to be present to win at the end. You know, I know these go on for a while. But, um, yeah. So. Oh, wow. A couple people knew. Um, Erica Eblin, he sucks in air. You're right. And I do have to put your name in there for the last question, the LD Shadow Lady. So, Erica Eblin, two times. Oh, there's some water here. Look at that. Erica Eblin. Erica Eblin. And don't forget, guys, once this video posts, if there's specific things that you want me to ask questions about, quiz you guys on, write it down in the comments on this video because that's where I go. Um, when I write my questions um, to find what you guys want me to ask questions about, because sometimes you don't know any of the topics that I'm talking about, so it's hard for you to answer them. And that gives you a chance to uh, get a question right by me asking something you know about. So there you go. And I'll show you something I got. So I found this and I thought it was super cute. I played this game at um, Dave and Buster's. I never played it, I think it was on the phone on an app, but um, it's the Cut the Rope. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, this is me. Look at this. Feed with candy. They might as well like have my picture right here because that's that's me. Feed me with candy. But um, it says it was sound, but I could not get him to sound. And they only had two. So I was like, ah. Oh. But I guess he doesn't sound. And I did not find like a pull tab. I tried looking around without taking off. So he doesn't come with sound, but he's he's a cute little keychain. And if you like this game, then he's still really cute. Either way, but yeah, this is going to be a prize in there. So there's that. And let's see, what shall we open? What shall we open? A lot of things. Let's, let's open, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, how about this? This is pretty simple. Um, this is a My Little Pony Fashions Series 6. I've opened up a bunch of these. I think I've gotten a couple Twilight Sparkles. I think I've gotten 
all of these by this time now, actually. So, um, and there is a way to tell what you've got. Um, you're gonna have to really, really try super hard, but if you um, shine like your light from your phone, because you're probably at the store buying this, or if you have a little mini flashlight, you can shine it through and see the colors. So just look through both sides and you'll, you'll be able to kind of tell who you've got in there just by color. And then they do have the painted part of the pony um, and then Spike on the dragon, which is a lot easier than the clear part because three of them are purple. So look for the other colors. And that's if you're just trying to just get one, you don't want to collect them all, or you can only buy one and you want certain one. So there is that. Ooh, what is this one? Oh, is this, um, uh, what is her name? Is it her? No, I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't want to say it wrong. But these don't smash as well as some of the other figures that I've seen because it's just the head part and it's pretty small. But um, like the SpongeBob one that I showed you guys and the Buzz Lightyear, they smashed a lot better. But the ones that are like, they have a body and it's like just the head part that does, they don't smash as well. But I really like the color on this. Super translucent. The hair on the rest of the ponies was like painted on part of it at least, but she's only got that little strip. So she's pretty cute. These aren't my favorite toys, I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're cute and all, but there's not too much you can do with them. Um, but I guess you could play with them. So if you just want a little figurine, but the fact that they get stuff stuck to them just it bothers me because like every time you touch them, you gotta make sure your hands are clean if you play with them and then they get stuff on them, you gotta wash them. So, but they are cute if you just sit them on a shelf, but then dust will stick quite nicely on there. So just depends on what you're into. I've actually heard a lot of other people too tell me that these are not their favorite kind of toys. So. I am not the only one. So let's ask two questions right now. So get ready. I'm gonna do one and then do another one right after. So you've got two chances right here. So get your fingers on your keyboard or your screen or whatever you're tapping on. All right. So I just did a custom doll. What did I name her? What is the name of my custom doll? What is the name of this custom doll right here, you guys? See if you can spell it right too. Hey there, Foxy and the Ducky of the Blogs. <laughs> it's Rain. Erica Evelyn, you got it. So, Rain, yes. And I spelled it R A Y N E. And I named her Rain because her hair is rainbow colored. I just thought it was really cute. But look at that. So pretty. I'm so happy with how she turned out. I love it. I like the eyes. I like everything. She's so pretty. She sits on my desk with me now. So, she's like, She's there watching me make videos. But yep, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's really cute. Uh, let's see, Erica Evelyn. You guys, you know Erica is your, your main challenge here. Last, last live stream, she was just nailing it. Just everything, she's getting it. She's quick. She's gonna be really quick. All right, so here is a Loud House question. A lot of people request the Loud House, so I always have to look these up for you guys. So in the Loud House, which Loud loves to play sports? Quick, guys. I know Erica. I know Erica knows the Loud House, so you guys better be quick. Which Loud loves to play sports? Not Lily. Not Lizzie, the boy. It's Lynn, Miss Laura's toy room. There you go, Miss Laura's toy room. It is Lynn, Lynn Loud. At least that's what online sources tell me. <laughs> I cannot verify by means of me watching the show. This is just so full. It's like more full than when it gets done with the live stream. It's kind of full. It's going to be really, really full. All right. So that was two questions. Let's go ahead and I'll show you something else. But I had one of these and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to be using it very much. So I'm going to get rid of it. And so I know I just said I don't like these, but um, if anybody does, then this is perfect for you. So it's a little Applejack one, but it's kind of like a, a Tsum Tsum shape. But yeah, she'll be there for surprise. And she does squeeze better than the other one. You can see uh, more of the, um, the liquid there. And it's not just the head. <laughs> My eye, I'm injured. Okay. Yeah, I can be so goofy. You guys have no idea. So let's open, um, I have a kinder, I've got, <laughs> I have half of a kinder, 
And I really, really, really debated. I had like six I got, but I got like plain ones. Let me see. I don't know where the other one is. I have one that has like, it's, oh, here it is. See, I got like six that were plain and I was really, really, really trying hard not to eat them, but I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> I ate them, you guys. So if you've never seen one, you'll have to Google image if you're really curious as to what the candy looked like. Because I'd never seen one before I actually opened one on my channel. So it was interesting. Kind of remind me of the Ferrero shares just with a bed of Nutella and vanilla flavoring. So, but um, this is the special one. It's a frozen one. So, um, yeah. Oh, it looks like I got a double. So he will be in the giveaway. So little Olaf, he's pretty cute. I've got uh, Elsa and Anna, the winter um, clothes ones so far, but I forgot how to do this. So let me have a look at the instructions one more time. But I, I know the idea, but I want to make sure I just do it right. Okay, so that goes down there. So it comes with this little, like, miniature snowman thing. I forgot what these were. They're, they're like miniatures of that that bad guy they fought. Unless there was like a, uh, uh, what is it, a... Uh, like a little mini film or something that I missed, but then you just set him in there. So he will come pre-assembled, free of charge. And then, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see he just, when you roll him across the surface, he wiggles back and forth. So it's pretty cute. And I want to say that he would go in better than that, but maybe, maybe I have it. No, I think I have it in right. I think it's just supposed to be kind of wobbly like that. But... That's what that looks like. And I want to say that these are pretty good toys. Like Kinder has some like okay toys, but these ones are really cute. They did a really good job with these ones. And then on the other side is the checklist. So I want to get these ones. I haven't got those. I haven't gotten any of those, but this one I could do without. I don't know. I just like cute things. And then I've got two of him, two of her, and two of her. So each of those is in my giveaway. And now he will also be in the giveaway. So that is the characters you can get for the Frozen, Frozen Kinder Eggs, which is a really good deal too, because sometimes these are like a dollar. They were like $1.50 more recently on sale, but I don't know how much, I think they're like almost $2 regular price, but you get a candy and a toy for $2, and that's not bad. So it's a nice little treat, especially if you've been behaving yourself, you can ask your parents politely. All right, so we will do some questions. This first one is a JoJo question. Now, if you follow JoJo on um, Instagram, I know she posted this on her story, but this may just be common knowledge as well. So um, if you're a JoJo fan, then you probably will get this. So, and I didn't know this. I thought I'd maybe heard it, but I wasn't sure 100%. So you guys are ready? What is JoJo Siwa's favorite candy? What is Jojo Siwa's favorite candy, you guys? What's Jojo's favorite candy? <laughs> nope, it's not Twix. <laughs> Chocolate, nope. Starburst, nope. Twix, nope. Hershey's, nope. Gumballs, nope. Skittles, Skittles twice, no. Twix, no, no. Chocolate, no. Jelly bean, Kit Kats, nope. Oh, I saw it. It's Jojo Siwa. Daffy Taffy. So it's Jojo Siwa. And just to let you guys know, I know that everybody's been talking about it. I've seen it. Um, but yeah, she's just a fan. So she just has her name and her picture the same because she's a super, super fan. So, but she never claims to be. So, all right. So our next question, and let's see, this is, you're going to have to have watched my videos to know this. So I opened up a fake LOL doll, a fake one, and I've got a lot more to open. So if you really like to see the fakes and how bad they can be, then just keep an eye out for my videos. But I opened a fake LOL. Who did it look like? So which real LOL doll was it supposed to look like? I mean, I could tell, but I mean, it just looked... It was terrible. The clothes, just awful, awful. They matched like at nothing, nothing at all matched. It was just terrible. So, um, yeah. So, which um, which doll did it look like? Hmm. Let me see. I gotta go up because I think it started to freeze on me a little bit. 
<laughs> Grenade, go queen, queen B. Hops, no. Uh, MVP hoops, yeah, hoops MVP. So Miss Laura's toy room, you got it. Miss Laura's toy room. Yeah, she was supposed to look like Hoops MVP, and I did not have a real Hoops MVP to compare it to, but I did show the picture there. So, but if you have one, you know, just look. There's, you can tell it's just not as good a quality. And there's like a weird thing in the back of her head. It was just like big, and it was just it was just weird, especially knowing like the real ones. You can see the quality just down. And you can get a better doll from like the dollar store. Don't spend as much as you have to on a fake ball because it's just not worth it. And they cost as much and, and more. Like they wanted like so much for these balls. And I told them, I said, you know, they're fake, right? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, just okay with it. I was like, but you can't sell the fakes for as much as the real ones, but they still just like, yep, we're gonna. So, all right then. And here is something else I'm gonna put in there. I just thought it was cute and you guys might like it. You guys like little dolls, so. She's got the ballerina little tutu outfit and hair up in a bun. So that will be in the prizes, and let's do another question. This is My Little Pony. My Little Pony, guys. So um, what is the name of Rainbow Dash's little sister? Rainbow Dash's little sister, what is her name? <laughs> what is the name of Rainbow Dash's little sister? I see descendants questions. I think I may have one in there. So, Sulu, Diamond Dazzling, you got it. Diamond Dazzling. Scootaloo is Rainbow Dash's little sister. All right, let's see what should we open. How about this Monster High one? So Monster High Minis, I've opened up, I think, three or four of these, and each one has been different, thankfully. No doubles. So, but I always um, put these in my, my giveaways. So, so season two, and I've actually seen a pink locker, but I don't know if that's only for season one. I'm thinking it is, but I saw one one time at the store, so I think it might be. But I've not seen it since. And it comes with just one figure in there and a checklist. But the container is a little locker which you can stack and um, display your dolls. So I really like that. So you can see there's the locker and then there's the little thing you can attach into the next one if you have multiples. And here is our doll. Oh, it's a double. I was just saying I hadn't gotten any doubles and here I go getting a double. So there you go. I don't remember. I don't think they have names. I think they just call these shrieks. So if she's really in the show, then I don't know. But as I say, all, every time, they remind me of like the Lala Lutsis. So their legs are shaped like that. But she's got spider webs or cobwebs on her, um, her dress there. And then little spiders as like the sparkles in her eyes. Let me see. There's like a certain part that I can hold it to and it's super focused. But other than that, it's going to be off. But, and then little spiders on her glasses. And a pale mint green hair, purple, some purple on here. So here is the checklist. And um, where was she? I thought she was at the top, but that was the other one I got the other week. Mm, what are you? Okay, looking for purple. You guys know I always end up going back over what I just did, so I'm doing it right now. Oh, okay, here it is. Geek Shriek, okay. But what, yeah, and you can see they're all geek shrieks. But yeah, I think that she does probably have a name because this is um, that gargoyle. I forgot what her name was. But, um, and then that's, yeah, that's like Frankie Stein and that's Claudine. So I think they might have names, but I don't know this one. So she is yellow and so she is frightfully uncommon. So geek shriek, this one, spider girl, frightfully uncommon. So there's that. And let's go to questions. Okay, so it's another LL one. But I have a lot of different ones, so don't worry. Um, you ready? Put your fingers ready. I opened a series two ball to try and get a new doll to custom. 
ended up being one I could not custom. So who did I get? Who did I get in that ball that I could not use the doll? <laughs> oh, winner Noel. Don't worry. If you you've got some entries in there, and then um, you don't have to be here to win. Just um, when you can, just come back and watch the end and see if you win. So don't get in trouble. So uh, Sugar Queen, Kitty Queen got it. I got Sugar Queen, Kitty Queen. I got Sugar Queen in the ball. I got a gold ball, and she's actually my third one. And she was my very first gold ball too, besides the um, the ones that came in the LO Big Surprise ball. I had not really realized that it was like a special thing because that was my first real like LOL separate from that big surprise. And I just thought it was a normal one until I looked at my checklist and I was like, oh, it's a rare. That's cool. But I didn't realize when I had the ball and I saw it was gold that it was, you know, different. So, but yeah. And let's do another question. And it's gaming with Jen again for you guys. So um, gaming with Jen. It's pretty simple, and even if you don't know her, if you are quick enough, then you can get this right. So, Gaming with Jen, does she wear glasses? So, Gaming with Jen, does she wear glasses? Yes or no? Simple. <laughs> so, Gaming with Jen, does she wear glasses? Felicia loves you. Yes, she does. So, Felicia loves you. And there are plenty, plenty of um, questions. So don't worry if you don't have any entries yet. You can still earn them. And then I have a live stream every Friday. So just make sure to watch my videos. You can get the entry in through that way um, by finding the secret word and commenting it. And then also if you have Instagram, you can tag a friend so you can earn entries that way. And then also just when you join my live streams. So, so you think that was two, right? Yeah, that was two. So we'll open up something. And let's open up this Kinder Joy, plain one, because I'm really curious. They had a picture of a bike, and I would love to get, like, a little bike. That would be really cool. And I did not. It's another one of those robots. I still have that one that I opened before. So oh, I don't know if I'll accept this. Here are his instructions. It doesn't look too difficult to want to do this. Okay, I will do it. So he goes like this, and then oh, it's already difficult. I forgot. I don't understand. Oh, because you have to put the back on too. I have to put the back on and then. And you thought it was easy, but no. <laughs> Is it like this maybe? Does it go into one of these? Okay, and then maybe that spins around. All right, I guess so. I guess. Yeah, okay, it does. Because I looked at it here rather than over here. So then you just attach the two arms. And that's weird. Where's his head? Oh, this is his head? Why is that not staying in place then? Maybe I did this wrong. What does this remind me of? I don't know. This is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> his head does not stay up. I think I put it on wrong. I don't know what's going on with my robot, but he just doesn't want to stay up. He's tired. He's sleeping. I'm sleeping. So there's my robot, guys. I did really good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Call me for all your assembly needs. But he'll be in there in case somebody likes him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So next question. It's LD Shadow Lady per request. So LD Shadow Lady, you guys ready? All right. So LD Shadow Lady. She has a cat. What is her cat's name? So what is LD Shadow Lady's cat's name? What is her kitty's name? <laughs> Buddy, Erica Evelyn, you got it. Oh, I have an unwanted guest in here with me. There we go, Erica Evelyn, it is Buddy. Buddy is her kitty. Another Loud House question. So get ready. Loud House. Who is Lincoln's best friend? Loud House. Who is Lincoln's best friend? Does she have more than one cat now? 
Hmm. So, Loud House. Who is Lincoln's best friend? Clyde, Winter Noel. You've got it. Winter Noel. I should just show you guys the screen. I should pull it over and then show you what I see. But I'm, I'm scared for reflections. Let's get it settles down a little bit. I have more room. Okay, let's open up the fingerlings. Now, I don't remember if I grabbed the bag, but I think I had the unicorn in. But I did tell you guys, I probably went through like five boxes in total. Um, and I finally found some, but I found two sloths. And in the last live stream, I opened it up and I showed you that I did get a sloth. And then um, the unicorn, I told you I know that I found one. But let me feel this. I don't remember. Okay, it's not helping. I don't know if you can hear me over the tinkling. Okay. okay so I'm getting it out. Let's see. Where is the tail? I think this is the head. So is this the unicorn? I'm thinking this is the unicorn one. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure, I usually spend a little bit more time on it than this, but I am pretty sure that this is a unit, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive. So, um, without opening it, you can see that I just felt for it, but you kind of, there's a plastic piece inside, you kind of have to separate from the toy. But the monkeys all have the little, well, they're actually kind of big ears on the side. So you can feel if you find the tail, which is nice and round on the monkey, if you find the head, um, you can feel the ears on each side. So the head is round and then you feel the ears. Um, the sloth has very, very tiny little things. So they're very small ears. Now the unicorn does not even have um, a, uh, um, a thing on the side of its head. It has its ears on top along with the horn. So you can feel they're pointed. Plus the tail on the sloth is very small and the one on the unicorn is textured. It's thick. It's not nice and like kind of spaghetti like like the the monkey. So if you're really trying to get them, because believe me, I went through four boxes and if you sat there and bought all of them, just trying to look for one maybe unicorn or sloth and after you bought a whole bunch of the monkeys, I know it would get very tiring. So that's the way you can feel for it and uh, try to get it. So, and it works because I got it last time, but there's a checklist inside. So other than that, there's no holes to see what color you're going to get or um, codes to tell you exactly which one is inside. So that's the only way I know how to do it. So, oh, it is, it is. And there's our unicorn, the green one. Oh, the head does not turn. So, a little green unicorn. You can see the monkeys have it on the side. I'll actually show you. I have one kept. Oh, let me take it off. I'm drawing on my table. So, you can see that when you feel in the bag, you'll feel these ears. And um, on the unicorn, there's nothing. Plus, you can see the head is actually more narrow, but it's just pretty easy to feel for the ears. And then on the unicorn, there's three points on the top. But you see the tail on the unicorn is really thick, where on the monkey, it's thin. So that is how you find a unicorn. And you can watch on the last live stream. I had the, um, the sloth, but that's what you're looking for. But this one's cute. It reminds me of the My Little Pony Minty. So she came with this bow. <laughs> It's a Jojo horse, Jojo unicorn. And you can put them on your pencils or on straws, but it also came with this bracelet that you can put your charm on. And they actually show, like, if you have the big fingerling, then you can attach it on there and have them as friends. And they actually, I saw, have new, like, best friend fingerlings where it comes with a fingerling and then a mini one, too. So that's really cute. I don't know when they release them, but, um, yeah. There is that. And we'll check our checklist to see who we got. So let's go by little sections. Uh, I don't see a green one. I was hoping for Gigi. I like the little white one. Uh, oh, here she is. Okay, so Molly. Molly is right here. And Molly is green, so green means legendary. And I believe there's only one ultra rare, and it's um, goldy right here. And I think she's not really gold color. She's kind of like a peach pink. And so here's the rest of them. I know I got um, Mimi and Amalia, Amalia Dizul Farfan, Victor, 
And I still, I also got the pink, it's like pink and green one. I don't think it was Tia, because I don't remember who it was, but um, I know somebody else in pink. I think maybe even Erica Evelyn picked that. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that, so. But there's our little unicorn. I'll probably hang on to her for a little while before I give her away, so. <laughs> All right, question time. So, it's an LOL question. So, name a Series 3 LOL surprise pet that has wings for an accessory. So, a Series 3 pet, Series 3, that has wings for an accessory. There's only two. So there could be two things. Hello, Snowy. I remembered the Dabbing Unicorn. <laughs> I don't remember Snowy, but I remember that name, the Dabbing Unicorn. So a Series 3 pet. Um, let's see. Um, it's the pet. It's the pet, you guys. So pet. What's the pet's name? Series 3 pet. <laughs> series midnight pup so rebecca rebecca got it because angel is actually just the doll there is only two and it's sugar pup and then midnight pup here so midnight pup and it's sugar pup and nobody else has wings so angel is the um the big sister doll let me show you so series three pet is what i was asking so Yep, Angel's the big sister. So Rebecca, you got it. Rebecca, Rebecca, and then S A R R A Z I N. Sarazin? I try, you guys, with my name. I try. I know Angel was my first thing too, especially because angels have wings, so it's it's easy to think that. But yeah. That was a little bit tricky, huh? So, um, oh, back to my fake LOL. Okay, so my fake LOL doll that I opened on my video there, um, I gave her a name. What name did I give her? That fake LOL doll, I named her because I didn't come with a checklist. I also didn't get any stickers, but I mean, I wasn't expecting much. I, I didn't really mind whatever I got. Just whatever I got, I got. And then, crazy thing inside of it. I could not believe they had that in there. That's a choking hazard, but it does say ages three and up. So, um, granny, <laughs> I did name her granny. So, um, the first person I saw was Erica Edlin. And I just scrolled to make sure. Erica Evelyn, there you go. I named her Granny because she looked like an old school teacher or something with the way her glasses looked and the dress and the shoes and the necklace. It was like really big and gaudy, like that old costume jewelry. And then her ball was green and she had a green dress on. So it was like, oh, it's a Granny Smith apple and she looks old. So her name's gonna be Granny. So I just named her because she did not have a name. And we'll show you something else we have. So I found this, and I know some of you guys like this one. So the Elena of Avalor. Avalor. I've actually never seen the movie, but it comes with this little charm, cute little bracelet. So that will be a prize to be selected. Everybody knows if you would like. And I will open up. How about this Lego Batman one, Series 2? So I kind of just found this. I think it might have been like the last one, but I'm sure it was probably, you know, they had more or something. But it was at Walmart. And they had a bunch of a different kind, but this is the only Batman one I saw. So, And again, with these, there's no code or anything. There's something down here, but I don't think it's, you know, to do with anything because they were all the same on the other bags because there was only this one to compare. But I did look at the other bags, but... Um, you can sometimes feel, if you know what's inside of these, you can feel the different pieces that they have. You're trying to get a certain one. All right. Ooh, it's green. What is this? Who's this green person? She's the Riddler. Oh, no, it's like Time Man, Clock Man. I don't know all the names. Oh, my goodness. I would have liked to have got Batman Mermaid. That would have been so funny. But I got this one instead. It's like a... Time man, spear man. 
And then Harley, right? Harley Quinn. She just looks so different as a Lego. But <laughs> Robin with an ice cream, that's so funny. And the Joker. Oh, there's a lot of funny ones. Oh, has anyone seen that commercial where the dolphin, um, the guy is, he was impaled by a dolphin, so it's coming out of his chest and it's sticking out his back. That's kind of funny. But then there's all these other ones. I don't know all the names to these. I don't know. But it just has instructions for some of them. But this is probably pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to put his pants on and his head, which is really interesting. It's not a normal Lego head. It's supposed to be clock. I don't know. Is that supposed to be gears right there? Oh, you know what? I need to put on. And I think you have to put his arms in there. I think you have to put his arms in. I think you have to take his arms off. There we go. And his arm goes in that one. Aha. <laughs> Sense of accomplishment. Sometimes these things are so hard. Nega was usually pretty good, though, but. I am having a little bit of difficulty with this one. I just don't want it to tear if I'm doing it wrong. But I think I'm doing it right. Come on, go in, go in. There we go. Woohoo! It just seems like it's too much now. Maybe I am doing it wrong. Ah, but this app's going to stay for now. There we go. I don't know. It just seems like it should just be right here. But they had those two little holes. So what were they for? I don't know, where's this picture again? Okay, I wasn't supposed to put him through there. Why do they have those holes? What are those for? Are they just part of his cape? He just has holes there? I don't know, maybe it's if you want to do that, but I don't want the cape to be all deformed, so we're gonna fix that. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I like Legos, though. I have a lot of Legos. I have a couple of bunny Legos too. No, this doesn't look like it's gonna stay on for me very good. I almost need like three hands. That went where it was not supposed to. Okay, he might just be sitting here without his cape. Okay, he's, he is probably going to be without his cape for a while. Oh no, okay, it's just gonna sit like this. <laughs> okay, and his little spear. And his other spear. Does anybody know who this is? I might have missed it because I have it just scrolled up a little bit. So let me go back. Um, but it does come with this neat little stand. It's got Batman on it. Double up on the cape. Oh, okay. You guys are so smart. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. Double up on the cape, someone said. Thank you so much. That makes sense. I've been staring at this forever going, what am I supposed to do with this? Maybe you guys put this one together before. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> I just am not used to that. I'm used to it just being that the cape is already just one hole and then they put the um they put it through there. It's a little bit harder to stand on. Okay, so there it is. He's the guardian of time. He's the clock keeper. Oh, there's my guest. <laughs> Do you see him? He's on my hand. He followed me in from outside, and now I can't get rid of him. Oh, all right, the dabbing unicorn. So he can sit here and guard this for me. He will be my guardian. That took a while. Let's get some questions. So it's a JoJo question, you guys. So if you've been following where JoJo has been, then you'll know. Where did JoJo Siwa go this week? What is the um, city? What city did she go to? She went to um, Australia recently, but now she's back in the U.S. And as soon as she got here, she left. So where did she go? <laughs> you have to go eat breakfast. Oh, my goodness. It's dinner time here. Mm, Orlando? No. Unless she went to Orlando, too. But Los Angeles, that's where she lives. But where did she go? Monco, Orlando, Perth, Japan, Orlando, California. She lives in California. She went out of California. San Diego, that's where I live. Um, New York, New York, Las Vegas. You got it. Ella the Bet. So Ella the Bet. She went to Las Vegas. She 
She has a really cool hotel room she's staying in. And she went to a concert there. I wonder how it is for her, seeing other people in concert, and she does concerts too. I wonder how that feels. It's a pretty neat. So here is another thing that I got for this. So she's got her hair down, and she's got a dress on. And I don't know what her feet look like in there. I've never seen the feet in here. It looks like she might have little shoes on, but she might be barefoot. It's really hard. It's really hard for me to see, so it's going to be impossible for you guys. So, But she's got a cute little dress. And you can take, or skirt, and you can take it off, and she could just be wearing like a little ballerina outfit. But, and it's funny because she doesn't have any wings, but some do. And I actually have one that does, but I'll show you them. So, we will open up. How about a grocery gang? Two boy things and boy things in a row. So, this is Bug Strike. I've opened up some that were in the, um, the chest, and then also the one that was in the garbage pile. But this is the one that's in a toilet. So,. I actually got a rare, which is really cool. It was like a purple see-through one. And is this, is this serious? I don't know. It's just grocery gang bug strikes. So yeah, I do not know. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Chris Rogers. She did. She saw Gwen Stefani. JoJo one saw Gwen Stefani. Okay, so the trash pack, and you just open it up, and it comes with two little, um, I don't know, they're like little weapons for their battle, and then the two figures, and they're individually wrapped up, the, the two little um, weapons are together, so, and a checklist, which I love checklists, because I like to know how many I can collect, what they are, so I can see and pick them, and then also to know how rare they are, so. This looks like a little cactus or a pickle, a pickle out of a jar maybe, but it's a yellow pickle. So, but his arm, he's, I don't know if it's bugs and stuff. I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably like maybe a rotten pickle, but he's got a cap on to protect himself and he, <laughs> he doesn't look too, too bright there. He might've gotten injured and now he's just dazed, dazed and confused. So here's this one. You can sit up here for a little while, even though you're all blurry. It's just so I can have everything clear right here in front of me. And then this one, it's not clear, but what is this? Is this a cheese curl? This looks like a cheese curl. It reminds me of the um, the Num Nums, the snackables. Cheese curl. So it's looking like he's sick to his stomach or something. Something's coming out of his mouth. But our weapons we should be able to tell i was able to figure it out last time okay so this one is okay it's a pickle on a fork which yeah i guess that's a pickle then or maybe it's a cucumber and then this one is it looks like a waffle with butter something splatted to it i don't know so i'm going to assume that this goes with this one and then i think this one will go with this one I don't know how handy that would be in battle, but I guess, I guess they'll work it out. So our trash away, keep our workstation neat as it, got, it gets filled up. All right, so stationary officers, no, not in there. Bug Brigade, it is not a bug, um, unless it is. No, it's not though. Um, Army Preserves. Okay, here we go. So Army Preserves. So it's not this one, but it's this one. It's Private Pukey Pickle. Private Pukey Pickle right there. It's in blue, so it's more than just a common. Let me check it out. Blue is rare. So that one is a rare. The pickle is a rare. How close can we get it? Almost readable, but not. And then the other one is... Where did I go? Yeah, it looks like that was on the other side, wasn't it? Oh, no, okay. But I think it is on this side. So, foot soldiers, hair force. I don't think it's in there. Hair collars, it's not that. Desert warfare. No. Oh, man. Oh, no, okay, okay. Repellents. Here we go. I thought I was going to have to go back through. Repellents. So, this is Sergeant Flyface. So, what is this then? Is this? Oh, okay. I know what this is. I know what this is. It's a fly trap. It's a sticky fly trap. If you ever got these, um, they come in like a little round tube. 
and they're about this tall and then it comes with a um, little kind of string at the top and you pull it out and it and it unwinds and then you hang it up like on the ceiling or outside or wherever you need it to capture flies sometimes you got to use it if you bought like a pineapple and left it on the counter for a day you get a bunch of fruit flies so this is a fly tape it looks like a like a curly fry though so and that's a fly swatter with probably a dead fly on it but that's what this one is but he is a common what do they call it though common yeah common they do call it common so he's red he's common so let's get these guys out of the way and get to some questions we did this one and oh lv shadow lady so who inspired lv shadow lady to play video games who inspired lv shadow lady to play video games <laughs> I didn't know this, and I think it's really cool who did. So who inspired LB Shadow Lady to play video games? Nope, it wasn't a friend. <laughs> nope, it wasn't Dan DDM either. Yep, Erica Eblen. She started it, and then she finished it. It was her dad. So Erica Eblen, you got it. Wouldn't that be so cool if your dad told you, hey, I want you to play video games. That would be a really good career. I want you to just go play games, you know, just do that. That would be just awesome. <laughs> like, go to your room, play games right now. I'm like, okay, <laughs> see you later. But that's really neat. Her dad supported her and, and told her she should play games because, hey, look, it worked out. So, all right, Loud House question, guys. So, each loud child is represented by a color. What color is Luna represented as? So Loud House, the children, are represented by color. What color is Luna represented by? <laughs> what color is Luna represented by? Not black. Not white. Not red. Purple, Felicia loves you. So Luna, and I thought maybe her name too would also give a clue because um, I, when I, actually, because I had to take a quiz to get this. So um, Luna is uh, the name of the My Little Pony, my favorite one, and her color is purple. So um, I thought that would probably maybe give it away. So, uh, but that's what it is. It's purple, which is really cool. So Luna is represented by purple. Now you know. All right, let's see. I have this, and I know this is going to take me a while, so I think this is the last thing I'm going to open, and I'll just be assembling it as I ask the remaining questions that I have left. But let's just open this, because I know it's real quick. Let's get back to questions after. So I found these at Toys R Us. I have not seen them anywhere else, but if you happen to, the only advice I have for you, if you're trying to find a certain one, is they have a little air hole on them, and if you look at the back, it does have the checklist. You can kind of maybe tell which one you're going to get just by color. It looks like there's red in this one. I move it around a little bit with some red and black, but it looks like it could be maybe orangish too. So it might be this one, the Green Goblin, and I mean, it could be this one, this one, or even this one, or this one, or this one now. <laughs> it, just, it just depends. Um, I couldn't really tell if I spent more time on it, but I'm not going to. But and it could be an exclusive. I don't know what that looks like. So we'll open it up and we'll find out. So I have not gotten exclusive in any of the other ones. I had Series 1 and Series 2 packs. I don't want to cut the little thing that it comes with. I might just pull this because I feel like I'm cutting that. All right. Cooperate. Oh no, I tore the bag. I hate when I tear the bag. <laughs> I hate when I tear the bag. It bothers me so much. Okay, so I was right. You can see red in it, and it's the Green Goblin Creep Show. So this is kind of like the older style, like with the comics. This is going by that kind of picture. So, and I think there was like a, a ride, like a roller coaster, the Green Goblin. But, but no, so 
both sides of it are the same, the little case, the little cute carrier, but it's a keychain. So if you're a collector, if you like this comics, then this is a cute little thing. So you slip it in there and obviously it does not really play, but it's cute. So even if you just like vinyl, kids are like, what are vinyls? <laughs> Ask your parents, guys. So, um, I don't, finals weren't even my time, so <laughs> I just know what they are. All right, so next question. So this is a candy question, you guys. So let's see how well you know your candy commercials. And I, I don't even know if they play this one anymore. So what candy melts in your mouth, not in your hand? There's a lot of candies that, <laughs> that melt in your mouth, not in your hand. But this one specifically says that. This is what they boast. And I have to tell you that it's a lie. They melt in your hand. They do. <laughs> Twix, Twix definitely melts in your, your hand. So no, it wasn't Twix. Not Skittles. Ooh, Erica Evelyn, M&M's. <laughs> Who helped with that one, you guys? Did a kid know that one? Erica Evelyn. I wonder if that's mom or dad. But yeah, those are the older commercials. M&M's melts in your mouth, not in your hand. But if you put M&M's in your hand and you sit there and you hold them in the sun, you watch them, they will melt. The outside starts to sweat, the coloring comes off, and then if you even touch it just a little bit, like the top and bottom separate like midway and like you just, man, it's melted. It is melted in your hand. It just doesn't get all over your hand unless you squish it. So they lie. It does melt in your hand. I'm going to call them out on that. I'm going to let them know. Maybe that's why they stopped playing that commercial. Who knows? So here's a My Little Pony question. So My Little Pony fans. Okay, which My Little Pony inspired Cheese Sandwich? Cheese Sandwich is the pony. So which My Little Pony inspired Cheese Sandwich to be how he is? So Cheese Sandwich has a very unique personality. There's a pony that inspired him. Which pony inspired him? <laughs> Which pony inspired him? Kika's World, you got it. It's Pinkie Pie. The Kika's World. So Pinkie Pie inspired Cheese Sandwich. That was a really cool episode because Pinkie Pie was feeling really down because Cheese, uh, cheese Sandwich, um, it seemed like he was taking over for Pinkie Pie. And so at the end there, I mean, it kind of, he kind of almost was, but at the end there, it was just because he was, he really, really liked Pinkie and how she was and she inspired him. And so they, they talked it out and figured everything out and they became really good friends. So it was really cute. All right, and let's do one more question. I think I've got in there. Yeah, we'll do one more. Um, so, uh, oh, okay. Here's an LOL question, you guys. Um, name the two big sisters that come in the LOL surprise, big surprise ball. What are the two big sisters' names? There's two. The big surprise ball. That's the gold one. All right. Thank you, Akasha. Thank you so much for coming. And if you screenshot that you said it first, send it to me. Um, yeah, it just shows up different for me. Um, so I fix it in the next live stream. The answers are coming up before I ask the question. Hmm, maybe it's glitching. Try refreshing because if it's starting to go slow on your end, refreshing um, helps. So refresh it. So Angel and Faname, no. Stardust and Purple Queen. Yep, Kitty Queen, you got it. Kitty Queen. Sometimes that happens for me, too. I'll be in a live stream, and um, people will be talking, and it's like before I see it on the screen so or hear it, so I refresh it, and then it fixes it. But yeah, um, Stardust Queen and um, Purple Queen both came in the LOL Surprise Big Surprise Ball. Those are the two that were in there. And I did see someone ask to open up the mini Mixie Cues, so let's go ahead and open that. I've opened up maybe five of these. I got a bunny in my second box, which was really cool. There is no way to really tell what you're going to get in there. There's no codes and there's no little peeps. But maybe if you had a brand new box, maybe there's a placement on it. I don't know. I did find these at Toys R Us before they closed. And I just have a bunch that I'm just going to be opening up over my live streams until I have no more. So um, that's about it. That's all I got for you.
but maybe you could Google it online. Yeah, I think placement's the only way you're going to find a specific one. But these are pretty old, too. I think they've had these for a while because it said, like, 2016 for some of these. So our checklist, and inside are two dolls, two hair pieces, and then two different outfits. So I have five, six, seven blind bags left, I think. About seven. Oh, my goodness. Look at what it is. It's the scary bunny guy with his hat. Scary bunny man. He should not have made his eyes red, but it's an albino bunny and their eyes are red. So sometimes, sometimes there's blue ones. I had some blue eyed ones. But look at his little, his little underwears have hearts on them. It's just funny. It's always a love bunny. And I think these are little roses on the front there. So I don't know what I'll do with him. Maybe I'll keep this one and repaint his eyes better because he's scary like that. I had a bunny, uh, a white bunny, and oh, okay. Let me let me do this. Here's here's an answer for the next live stream. I'll ask this. So I had a rabbit in New York, and um, I had to get rid of him before we moved because when we moved, um, they wouldn't let me take him on the airplane. So I had to give him to my friend, and she took care of him. And his name was Leo. Leo, because I like this book called uh, Leo the Lop. So I will ask what my bunny's name was from the bunny that I lived in New York. His name is Leo. So the other figure is a ladybug. Super, super cute. My mom would like this one. So, oh, she's wearing green underneath. I was not expecting that. She's got a little green leaf and a little green. I'm going to call it a bathing suit rather <laughs> than underwears. But um, the back has these little white wings, which is really cute. But on a real ladybug, those are actually what are spotted. So, And then we'll see how rare or not rare they are. So they can be everyday, special, or ultra special. And the bunny is in the zany. So white rabbit. And he is the special, yellow. So is white rabbit and then let's see ladybug is she in the wild no bubbly no how about sassy I do not see her there's a bee and a monarch butterfly let's go to the other side brave sweet friendly oh I'm, oh she's in friendly okay i was like i'm gonna miss it so she is also also a special so that's pretty neat. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her, but I really like that rainbow unicorn. That would be cool. I think I have maybe like four more boxes, maybe less. I think less, actually. So maybe one of those I'll get one, but we will see. So the, the ladybug and then the bunny. All right. Question time. Hmm. All right, so here's another Loud House question. And I told you guys, I just write them in random order just as I get them. So, uh, Loud House, who is Lori's boyfriend? Who is Lori's boyfriend? <laughs> I do have a SpongeBob question. Just not yet. So, who is Lori's boyfriend? Bobby, Kylie Sparkles got it. Kylie Sparkles was an easy, right? I think. Kylie Sparkles. And I did see like a whole bunch popped up at once. So that might be one of these controversial ones. So if you screenshot that, if you happen to get first, then I'll take care of that next time. So next question, this is a, it's not a candy question, but it's a snack question. But it's another one of those things that they had on commercials, but they still advertise it sometimes, like not as prominent, like it's not as displayed and shown and talked about as much as it used to be, but they still do say it. So let's see if you know which one it is. So what's the snack that smiles back? The snack that smiles back. What is it? Which snack smiles back? I like these. I like these snacks. Ashlyn, yes, I did get your name in in the very beginning, so you can go back and just double check on me, but I did put your name in there because you did comment that word. The snack that smiles back, goldfish. Alicia loves you, got it. 
Why do I feel like I spelled that wrong? <laughs> I feel like I spelled that wrong right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because I spelled it with an S. Let me redo that. Alicia. Alicia is how it's spelled. Alicia loves you. There you go. I spelled it with an S-H. All right, so last two, and let's get to, let's do our Pick Me Pop. So this is season two, and I just learned that they came out with season three a few days ago. Hmm. It's something fruity, but it's not banana, so it's not the bubble gum. Maybe it's watermelon. What are the other scents? I don't know. Maybe it's watermelon. Maybe, you guys. Maybe. I know the banana one, like, really well. I, I always pick that one right, but... I don't know what this one is, so it will be a surprise. And I don't think they have a bunny in the small ones. It's in the two pack, I think. But the unicorn would always be a good one. And the only thing for these is, I think, placement. If you wanted to get a certain one, you get a brand new box and you can get a placement. But um, you can see if you're looking for a specific color on the bottom, it's stuck to me. And you can see through the perforation where you're going to tear the strip, but um, it's purple. And our little critter. And our stand. I think that's really cool that it stands like that, kind of like a cake pop. And I'm not going to look at the envelope because we're going to find out who it is. And that's a lot of yellow right there, is it? Oh, I think I see what it is. I see what it is. Why am I not opening? Trying to guess through the bag. I think I have this one. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, I can't tell the scent though. What is that? Let's see. Tazzle the tiger. He's actually on the package. I just threw it away. I think it's torn too much. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he's kind of it. But he looks like he's got more pink on there than mine does. But colors and styles may vary. That quick little voice at the end of the video that tells you that things can be different. All right, so, oh, it's Fruit Paradise. I knew it was kind of fruity. I couldn't place it, so best friends, Roar Ever and Tazzle. So what is he? I think he's, I don't think he's a common. Let's check our checklist. So common, oh, no, wait, he is. Tazzle the tiger is right there. So let's see, which one's what I want? I really like the tea tree, the wolf. He's great smelling, so he's really good. I have Phoebe the Siamese cat, or is it Phoebe? Phoebe, because there's no H. Nacho the French bulldog. I think I have Urkel the turtle. I have Bright the deer, I think I have two, and I have Snapple the elephant. Rares, what do I have? Do I have any of those? I don't know, but the Shimmery Sea, I think I got Noodles the jellyfish. I think I got that one, but look at that. A unicorn. Everybody wants that one. Probably mostly everybody. 95% of people. And then Wisp the dragon would be really, really cute too. Oh, I just noticed this is a Yeti. I thought it was a lamb. <laughs> okay, so in case you're wondering, these are what come in the two pack one the bigger lollipop, popsicle, pops, the bigger one of these. All right, it's question time. So, okay guys, you gotta listen real good at this one. So this is an LOL doll question. <laughs> so the series three, series three big sister LOL dolls have five abilities, five water abilities. They are, I'm gonna keep one out. You gotta know which one I'm gonna keep it out and comment that one. They are the mystery water feature, which is water from the ears. Color changing, tinkle, spit, and what else? So which one is missing? Mystery water feature, color changing, tinkle, spit, and what else? <laughs> wow, okay, Kylie got it right in there. So cry, pee, spit, color change, or ear spit. So okay, Kylie Sparkles, I'll give that to you. You put all of them in there, so. Kylie Sparkles. Okay. 
it was cry. Cry was missing there. So cry, they cry. I really like it when they tinkle. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but I guess it's a doll. That's what they do. A lot of dolls tinkle. So this is one more. This is the last thing that I'm just putting in there for um for the giveaway, just for a prize. Um, everything else that I have left, I open. So. But this I will keep in the package, but I thought it was pretty cute. It's got a, a dress that kind of fades different colors, and it's got some gold glitter on it. But she actually does have the fairy wings. So, there we go. Well, if you're thirsty, you should get a drink. I have a drink with me right now. I think I'm going to take a drink because it's very hot in here. Okay. Next thing. Let's see. We will do another question. So, a Disney question, you guys. In what Disney movie is the song Hakuna Matata? That's a pretty easy one. So, Hakuna Matata. What Disney movie is that song in? <laughs> I think I have a Descendant song here. Pretty sure I do. Oh, you got PhD BB. Isn't she, um... She's part of the season two one, or wave two. Lion King, Felicia loves you. You got it. The Lion King, Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. All right, let's mix this up a little bit. The guardian of all the names. Okay, so let's open up this one. I found this one all by itself randomly at a Walmart, and I'd never seen it before, so I grabbed it. I actually have the rabbit twins, the little babies, and then also the chipmunk ones, and I opened those up in my Christmas videos. In the Christmas videos, it's I just have a tree set up, and then I had the um, Num Nums package, so I did like 25 days of Christmas. I put a Num Num on the tree each day, and then um, uh, and I also opened up like one little um, present. Um, and which was just a toy. It's kind of like a random toy. So, um, but I got um, one of the sets of that in there and one of the sets of those in there. So, um, but I guess there's eight you can collect. And I think there's a piece of cardboard in here. And just because this is the only one, I didn't like check to see anything. But looking at it, there is a little code there, but I think that it's generic. I don't think that it's going to be different from the others. And there's no hole to tell, but if you really, really wanted to try and feel, some of these things have some pretty big instruments, so you might be able to feel, or their ears might be sticking out past the cardboard, or you can kind of slide them out, but that's only if you want to try to feel for them, so. And I only found this one bag. I wish they had more. So who do we have? Oh, wow, it's really packaged. Look at that. There is. This is going to be really hard to feel if you want to do this. It comes with a cardboard. It's taped shut, so you can't really do too much. And then it's also got, like, a little padding in there, too. So it's really hard to tell who you got. Okay, mine's kind of orangey, green bottom. And is there something else in there? Oh, I think there's a checklist, yeah. Looks like I got like a bear. Okay, so it looks like I got the bear. Yeah, it's pretty sure this is a bear. And I guess that's how the outfit sits on him. Just like that, kind of opened up in the back. But he's cute. And he's just like the um, LL Pets the, with the velvet, the, um, the soft fur on him. And then his instrument is with the tambourine and the chimes. What are those called? I can't remember. They have a name, but I cannot remember. Oh, does Winter Noel here? She might have had to go, but she's going to band camp. I've never been to band camp, but I do play an instrument. Oh, they're symbols. Symbols, okay. I thought they were the little things for your fingers, the little their little finger symbols, but they have a certain name for them. So there we go, symbols. So he is in the percussion part of the band, and I don't actually know if they... Oh, his arms do go up. Okay, so you can put them on him. There we go. He's going to hold them. <laughs> he gets to be very loud when his time comes. He gets to clap them together. So here is what that looks like. I have one member of the band. 
If I could have had one, of course I'd want the bunny. Or the chipmunk, that's really cute. But this bunny with the drums, that would have been really cute. I don't see a clarinet. There's a trumpet though. And xylophone. Accordion and a, is a violin. I don't know, it's hard to tell right there. But piano. So any of you guys play an instrument? All right, so, oh, okay, so they've got the names here, too. So, okay, I got Jason Cuddle Bear with symbols and then a language I cannot read. So I'm sure it says the same thing. Henry Sweet Pea Rabbit with drum. Mm -hmm. There should be a flute because a flute's a pretty common one as well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lots of garbage on that one. Not too much, but I keep the bags. So, all right, next we'll do questions. So two questions. Uh, this is a My Little Pony question. So what is the name of Rarity's little sister? Oh, very cool, Ashlyn. She just got her mom's phone. Oh, wait, this is my mom's phone you got today. So ooh, maybe she got a new phone, which is her mom's phone, which is fine. That's really cool. Moms usually get the good phone, so if you got mom's phone, it's probably a good phone. So, Sweetie Belle, it is. So, girly games and toys. Girly games and toys. And there you are. And just to let you guys know, um, when you watch my videos, from now on, I'm going to be having a hidden word in there. I'm going to say... So if you guys listen and you find that, if you comment that word down on the, um, in the comments on the video, then that will earn you an entry into the following Friday. So that coming Friday um, into the entries here. So be watching and listening for that and comment on the comments there. And I'll actually put in the description um, which live stream it's good for because the three that I had before this one were only good for this live stream. If you find it and comment it after that, it's not gonna be good because There'd be just so, so many, and I'd have to just pay attention to all of those. So um, it's just for that current time. So, yeah. All right, next question. It's a JoJo question, but it's kind of a JoJo question. It's about JoJo's family. So, and they actually posted it on their Instagram. I don't know if they posted it on anything else. The only thing I follow is Instagram. Um, the only thing I check. So, um, JoJo Siwa, how old is her brother, Jaden? How old is her brother, Jaden? Somebody said froze. I'm still here. <laughs> nope, he's not 16. He does look young, but I think everybody that's young looks young, except for a few people. I've seen people that I thought were like older and they're like, no, I'm only this age. I'm like, wow, really young. So let me see, who did I see it with it? He is 18, and I saw a few people with it, so let me pull it up real quick. Um, here we go. It's Jojo Siwa. Yep, it's Jojo Siwa. <laughs> it's Jojo Siwa. She knew how old her brother was. No, that's not really Jojo Siwa. It's just a fan. Nobody give her a hard time. I'm just teasing. All right, so, yep, Jaden is 18, a brand new adult. So we've got Trolls, uh, Jurassic World, I couldn't say it, I was reading it, but I couldn't say it. Shopkins, the Batman, Mighty Minis, the Briar, Box Dogs, and then we've got this for, <laughs> this might be like a to be continued, I might start it now, but then finish it later. So first up, we'll do the Series 7 Trolls, and these are the ones that color change, I believe. So I had some that were like this plain, and then some that have glitter on them, and then there's the ones that color change, and I'm really, really pretty sure that these are the ones that color change, the Series 7. So you're supposed to put them between your hand and make them warm. I've never actually color changed any of them because I didn't want to sit here for a while and, um, and make it warm, but uh, yeah. So if you cut this open, be careful not to give your troll a haircut. I haven't done that yet, but, oh, this is a new one. So, I mean, I should really be warm enough to change it, but I think it just takes a little while. So, does he have a name, you guys? This isn't for an entry, but help me out. Does he have a name? Are we gonna name him? I do have a SpongeBob question, I promise. I just don't know where it is. I have it written down here. 
So, what is his name? They all look like they put their finger in a light socket. Now here it is. <laughs> no, I don't know his name either. He might just be like a common troll, but he's cute. He looks like he should glow in the dark. They should make that. I wonder if they did, because this is series seven, so I wonder if they made like a glow in the dark series of them. So, all right, what do we call him? How about Stuart? He looks like a Stuart. Ooh, that's going to be a question in my next live stream. I'm going to name this troll Stuart, so I'm going to ask, what did I name the troll that I opened up in my last live stream? And the answer is Stuart. Like Stuart Little, but just Stuart. So his name is Stuart. Hi there, Young Shin Kim. Hello. So our checklist. He's not one of those. He's not one of those, but I really wish they had the names on here. They should. And he is this one right here. And his hair is much neater. They brushed it. And then these ones. He came fresh out of the bag, and that's what his hair looks like. This is Deadhead. He's been sleeping in the bag this whole time. So Stuart. Aw. Lucy, um, I just I just let everybody know, but watch my videos when they post, and then you can definitely get an entry if you comment the word down below that I say in my video, the secret word. So watch for my upcoming videos, and in my next live stream, I hold one every Friday. But don't give up. Keep trying to answer the questions. So we will go next to our timekeeper. He's also a protector of names. All right, so here is a My Little Pony question. My Little Pony. What is Pinkie Pie's pet alligator's name? Pinkie Pie is a pet alligator. Can you believe it? What is her pet alligator's name? Yeah, it was Saturday last week, and there was a reason for that. Um, there were fires um, kind of close by where I live, and so I had to wait and see if we had to evacuate. So um, let's see. Pinkie Pie. Girly Games and Toys is yummy. You're right. Girly games and toys. Pinkie Pie has a pet alligator named Gummy. And I can't remember. It's been a while, but I know he had like no teeth, but I don't know if it was, I don't think he was because he was hiding them. I think he just doesn't have any teeth and he chews on everything with his gums. So, um, but yeah, I had to, I had to wait because, um, I didn't want to start the live stream and have to stop it or not know that I had to leave in case the fires got too close and it was all smoky outside and there were ashes falling. So I just I postponed it to the next day till I knew everything was all right. Plus the internet might have gone out or power might go out. Sometimes it goes out when there's stuff not going on like that. So it just, just wasn't working out to do it on a Friday. So um, it's fire season. So, oh, actually, look at this. I forgot about this. So I have this for a prize too. It's a lanyard. It's got mermaids all over it. And then a little mermaid um, figure here, like made out of rubber. So, and then a clip, so you can put the little clear plastic part on it. And like maybe you have a pass to a, like a theme park or maybe a school ID and you wanna wear it around or just hold something in there. And um, I have to carry it around or hold a purse. So you just want it there on your neck or you could put it on um, keychain. You could put your keys on there. Keys for your house or keys for anything you have. So that will be a prize as well. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it 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 gets to be pretty pretty uh, dangerous here sometimes. Not not exactly right here where I am, but um, it can be. Just it just depends. Pretty close. There was the fires, the wildfires. I think two thousand seven. I'm not sure what year they were, but yeah, they they came through where I live, kind of not where I live exactly, but close by twice. So yeah, so we're careful. All right, Roblox question, you guys. Roblox. So all you people that know Roblox, and I know there's so many different games. So I was trying to think of a question that like maybe people would know, but this is a pretty popular game. So I'm hoping that you guys know it, but um, somebody has to know it. And then even if you don't know it, I think that the question is kind of one where you could just, you know, guess it, right? Because, you know, it's kind of just like real life. So in Roblox, the game, Welcome to Bloxburg, you can have a job at a pizza place. So what is one of the two jobs that you can have there? What is one of the two jobs that you can have there? What can you do? <laughs> I'm not a real boy. <laughs> and then he laughed. Sounds like Pinocchio, but the opposite. A delivery man, Erica Adlin, yep. And I heard that you make more money doing that than making the pizzas. So Erica Adlin. 
I really need to get on and play Roblox with you guys. I have a Roblox account, I just have not been on it. So and I actually have a separate one. I started a Sugar Bunny Hops one, but I have my own own. And so I started a Sugar Bunny one so it would be different. I have a name that you know you guys would recognize. So if you guys want to add me on there, it's at Sugar Bunny Hops. It's the same as my YouTube name. All right. And was that two questions? Yeah, that was two questions. So we'll do this. Um, how's the briar? Briar box pocket dogs. I've opened up a lot of these, and just for anybody who hasn't seen them before, though, um, my only complaint is that briar is so good with their horses. They could have just done so much better with this. But these are really inexpensive. They're only like a dollar eighty-eight at Walmart, and that's the only place I've seen them. It comes with a little pocket box, which is so cute. It's like a little matchbox. Um, two dogs in a water bowl or a food bowl, whatever you want to call it. And then the scene, um, the box has a play scene on it, like of an area. There's a couple of different ones. And then a sticker. So there's a good amount of things in here. And it's a nice little toy if you can only take something in your pocket with you somewhere. You know, let's take a big toy. Um, and you can still play with it. And um, I think that it's just hard sometimes to tell what the breeds are. And we're not super detailed with the paint. They have the, um, the texture down pretty good, you know, but I don't know. Just the horses are so good. It's just when you compare them to the dogs, it's just like, what was going on? But here it is in the back. And you just slide it out. And this looks like a new one. The dogs anyway. So is this a King Charles Cavalier? King Charles Spaniel Cavalier? And then a poodle, it looks like. So, and then I think this is a Jack Russell Terrier. I know my dogs better than I know my horses. And then a little green water bowl. So, parents, if you're watching, this is a water bowl. If you find it on the ground, it's not part of a toy package. And then the downtown city scene. And this is kind of coming out a little bit. I wonder what's behind it. Oh, I can't get it open without maybe ruining it. So I don't want to ruin it. But, yep, it's downtown. But it's at a park downtown. So. I don't know what downtown this is. Does anybody know what this is a skyline for? Which downtown is this? Is this in the United States or is it somewhere else? Doesn't look like downtown San Diego, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. So this is a spaniel, I guess. It's just a spaniel right there. You see spaniel. And you can see the paint. I mean, it's just like, okay. Is it St. Louis? Hmm, which reminds you of Briar's ice cream. And then there's the poodle. Boston, New York. I was thinking just like New York just because I know that's a city, but um, I used to live in New York, but not in the city. And that's the poodle right here, right here. So this will be in the giveaway. I give these away. I don't keep any of these. I think I kept one. Might have been the Dobson if I got it, but I did keep one dog, one individual dog. We gave the rest away. So, we're coming up to questions. Oh, here's a question that you don't have to know anything about anything. They teach this in kindergarten. So, as long as you know your colors, then you're going to be good. So, get ready. What color do you get when you mix red and blue together? What color do you get when you mix red and blue together? St. Louis, Boston, living in a park like that. Oh, okay, well, be careful about information there. Yeah, but if you guys know what that city was. But... Purple. I see the Erica Evelyn. She actually hit the eye, but yeah, Erica Evelyn. Erica Evelyn. You do, you get purple. It's a secondary color. So the three primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. And then when you mix two of the primary colors together and you get a new color, that's called a secondary color. And then it goes on and on and on when you mix other colors and other colors. So it's really cool to make the, um, the little colored cards. I like that. I like doing that. So here is a, oh, I actually wrote to somebody about this too. So have you seen one of my last, I think it was maybe my second to last video that I posted. Um, or maybe, no, I think actually maybe the third, the third to last. Um, you'll, you'll know this really quick because we had to say it. It was actually the clue. So um, you have to fill in this blank. And the first word is actually the blank. So blank or girl's best friend. 
What's a girl's best friend? Screenshot it, guys, if, if it shows you guys that you said it first. On my end, I promise it says it says Erica. But um, yeah, screenshot it if you have um, something else. So um, Diamonds, Erica Evelyn again, you guys. She is so quick. Erica Evelyn, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds are a girl's BFF is what I got in the, the clue one of those recent lols but yeah diamonds are a girl's bff and i replied to somebody well not this girl bunnies and candy <laughs> you got me with bunnies and candy so batman mighty minis this is a series three and i've got a couple of these i've got this guy and then i got i forgot what his name was but this is like the red robin i guess so um i you could feel for these i really you know, I'm, I'm not collecting them so i'm not trying for any particular one the code doesn't mean anything and there's no hole like event hole to tell and i think it would be pretty impossible to, oh you know there's a little hole right here so you might be able to if you can move the thing over but it doesn't look like it's punched all the way through so maybe it's not supposed to be there i don't know but pretty difficult but you can probably feel for shape which i did not because i'm not selecting like i said trying to get a certain one but if you are, then you'll see the checklist and be able to try to feel. So I got a cape. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I got like a, a blue Batman there. Oh, you know what? Mr. Freeze would be cool. I like when Arnold Schwarzenegger played Mr. Freeze. But yeah, you get to um, mix and match these. So you can create your own mini combinations and put different things on there. So I think this is the one I just got right here, though. Here's the checklist though. We got Batman, Batman armor, the Joker, Mr. Freeze. Is it chemo or chemo? Like chemical, chemo. Bane. Oh, Bane is back. Batman. So just as the regular Batman, I'm used to him just wearing like all black or gray. Batman polar. That's pretty cool. It kind of looks like Robocop, doesn't it? And then Nightwing, Red Robin, Clayface and Killer Croc. Okay, Killer Croc's the other one I got. So I got Killer Croc and Red Robin before. Oh, and I also got Polar Batman, but it doesn't look silver. It looks white, like the character was white. So I still have that. Nobody picked that yet. So that's still in the giveaway. Let's put them together. It's weird that they made, but it's a series three, so maybe they already did the classic colored Batman, and so they decided to put him as a different, as his main one. And they're fairly easy to put together. That waist was a little bit difficult, but the cape just punches in. You don't have to take off the head. Uh, yeah. Is that going in? Yeah, you're going in. Now you're coming back out. Okay, you kind of roll it up in there and it fits better. So here is Batman. Batman. And yeah, it's just a little bit shorter than an LOL doll, I want to say. Maybe a whole head shorter. This is about the size of the body. So it's kind of mini. But um, there it is. All right. Who is asking for the SpongeBob question? I've got a SpongeBob question for you. So, hmm. sorry about that. All right, so SpongeBob. What is the name of SpongeBob's pet snail? What is the name of SpongeBob's pet snail? I'm gonna get a drink, you guys. I'm here to my voice. Need a drink. Hmm. <laughs> Gary, Erica Evelyn. Yep, it's Gary. Erica Evelyn is very well versed. You guys have got to comment stuff that she doesn't know about if you want to beat her. She's in there like, yes, Lafayette. My pen messed up with my hand moved. All right. So next question. Oh, we have a lot of questions left. Not too, too many. Maybe like 13. So a loud house question. <laughs> Someone said Carl. Carl, where is Carl? Ah, I can't think of what Carl's from, but all right. Loud house. Which color is Lena, or is it Lana, represented by? So the Loud House kids are all represented by a color. What uh, color is Lana represented by, or Lena? 
So if you send it first, don't forget to screenshot and then send it to me. So what color? Not black, blue. Or Erica Ablin got it again, you guys. I think they they watch a lot of Loud House though. Ablin, Erica Ablin. Don't forget to comment on this video. I'm telling you guys, you gotta comment things that you know a lot about, and then you gotta practice your skills. Be really quick at typing, really, really quick. And I do know that this messes up, and sometimes you get it in before other people. But I think it's just because everybody comes in, maybe at even the same exact time, and if everybody comes in at the same time, maybe it just shows you that you're first. So it could be like a tie, but I, I have no way of seeing it. I just go by what's on my screen. So screenshot that, and I promise I always keep my word. If you screenshot that and send it to me, then I will take care of it for you. But I do need that picture. So, um, all right, we have three things to open. We've got this Kinder Joy Jurassic World. Open up a lot of these. Oh, I think this is a new one for me. Oh, I think it is. No, maybe not. No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. It's the Morphodon. So it comes with this little, um, I don't know what it is, a little paper. But it's kind of like a playset scene, too. But it says you can download the Magic Kinder app. And you guys know you always need permission before you download the app. So I think you just scan that. And it gives you this dinosaur on there or something. But it has the dimensions of the dinosaur and how much it weighs. So four pounds, the Morphodon. It looks like a pterodactyl, but um, I think they had these flying at the end of the fourth movie, the Jurassic World, the first one, not the new one that just came out. They had a bunch of these flying around. So you have this little um, outer shell, I want to say, which is like the skin. And you can just keep it like that. And it shows on the paper that you can just battle that and that, the skeleton and the skin and the rah. But um, you can also put the skeleton inside, which I like better, I think, because it's kind of like the, uh, I don't know, like they have them at the, um, like the museum and stuff when they have like a fake, uh, fake shell of what it would look like. So you can see part of it outside. So I don't know. I don't know what the purpose is. But that's what it looks like. And these, I'm, it's cool that they have this whole thing, but I definitely think these could have been better. The skeleton is pretty cool. That's good. But then the outside part, I think they could have done more with either more paint or more design, something. But I mean, it's Jurassic World. Come on, you guys. They did a really good job with the Disney um, Frozen ones. So a little poster. And then it has just the directions on what to do with this. So. But that's what's inside of those. And if you want to see other ones, I have them in the other live streams. I've got a lot of doubles. So here's a JoJo question, you guys. But it's kind of, again, it's not JoJo herself. It's a JoJo family question. So, and I just saw this posted on his Instagram too. Um, I think yesterday, the day before. So what is JoJo's brother, Jaden's favorite color? So Jaden Siwa, what's his favorite color? Jaden Siwa. Jaden Siwa, what's his favorite color? <laughs> it's not blue. Jaden Siwa. <laughs> I'm surprised. Everybody's guessing blue. Blue, 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 black, green. Nope. Red, Winter Noel. Winter Noel. Oh no, are you going to be in trouble? Winter Noel. So, Winter Noel got it. It is red. That's what he said, at least. So, unless he tells something one day and then tells something else another day. So, um, oh, there was that too. I can't remember. I'll just ask another one. So, here's a My Little Pony question. And I do have a Descendants question coming up. So, um, what object does Rarity love? So My Little Pony, Rarity, what object does she love? I'll pick like three different answers for this because it's kind of the same thing. So what object does Rarity love? <laughs> what gems? Erica Evelyn, yep. Erica Evelyn. Rarity loves 
gems, jewels, diamonds, anything sparkly of that nature. So she loves, loves, loves them. She lives for them. So she was even used one time by, I forgot what they were called, those dogs. Um, and they wanted her to find them for them. So fresh fruit shopkins. This is that new season, the, um, what is it called? I forgot what they're called, but I, I don't remember. I can't remember what last season was wild style, but this one is like, it's a bunch of um, like grocery items. They've got laundry stuff. They've got cosmetic stuff and um, food stuff and snack stuff. It's some really cute snack bags, but I got the fresh fruit package. I think this is the first hard package I've got. I've got um, a couple snack bags so far with different ones in it. And then inside the checklist which is inside this little part down here let me go ahead and show you do not throw the cardboard part away because that is where your checklist is and the checklist is so helpful if you're trying to get certain ones and you're only getting these individual packs it has um which packs have which shopkins in them but it's not guaranteed you're going to get a specific one but at least you can narrow it down to certain ones <laughs> that's why i didn't get in there it wasn't even cut before Okay, so let's open it up and see what we got, and then we'll have a look at our checklist stuff. This is hard plastic, and it's cool because you can reuse these for, like, doll sets and everything. It's just really neat. And they do call these collectibles, too. So, And you can buy, you know, a couple of these, and there'll be different ones in each one. Unless you get a double, of course, but there are different kinds that come in them. Oh, I got a pineapple. So fresh fruit pineapple. Really cute. Maybe she just goes in there. Oh, okay. And here she is. She is a season one. Okay, it's not going on. She's a season one. And it says S1 because it's season one. But you can also tell because it's gold. The season two ones that they re-release. So this is a re-release. Season two is in silver. And season three is in a bronze color. So I did not collect in season one. I think I started on season two. I have a ton of Shopkins. When I finally pull my collection out, you guys are going to be like, oh my goodness, Sugar Bunny, what were you thinking? But I have a ton of Shopkins. I have a ton of new packages too. So I'll probably be pulling those out and probably having a giveaway with those. So I know I have the mini fridge and then I have the Valentine's ones. I have the Valentine's packages. So I'll probably say that for around Valentine's Day. But here we go. Fresh fruit and veg. So those are the different ones you can get, and those are different packages you can get them in. So you can see that I got this one, and inside I got the Pineapple Crush. And she is green, so what is she? She's a rare. So, and then they've got the takeout, which is so cute. I love the little takeout boxes. And then the Frozen. I have not seen the ice cream container. I really want that or the icy cold. And then I start putting out ones that I want and then I find another one that I want and another one. So, and then we've got, is this, oh, I thought it said pop tart. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. But bakery, I got the bread. That one's really cute. Oh, cookie favorites. Oh, I want that one. I have not seen that either. Oh, crunchy cookies. There's another cookie bag right here. And I've seen the cake boxes, and I got the bread. Oh, I think I got this bread, not this bread. I think I got the red one. So there's a lot of cute ones, but limited edition. I have never got a limited edition one. Have any of you guys got a limited edition? I've seen people get them. Excuse me. But I have not got one myself, and I've bought a lot of Shopkins. Sweet treats. You know this is my thing. I have, I've got this bag. I've got uh, the party mix bag. I got the candy mix bag. And the candy fun bag. I don't know. I think I actually did get one of these two. So I think I've got all those. But yeah, that's my thing. Miss Twist. Mm -mm. Yummy. That's a red vine. Cotton candy. There's so many good things here. Candy kisses. Oh, this was just from the, um, the Wild Style one. That's me. Oh, Pop Rocks. I love Pop Rocks. Okay, so dairy. And homewares. Pantry. Fashion. Health and beauty. And then cleaning. There's a very small cleaning section. It's just three things in two different containers. But the containers are really cute. You do laundry with your dolls or wash their clothes. So they always have like Barbie washer and dryer, little fake ones you can get in a place up. And those would be really cute for that. So let's put our stuff away. Well, oh, <laughs> the lid was not on. I forgot. There it goes. So 
I will ask some more questions. And I'll save that. All right, so in Minecraft, there's a Minecraft question. <laughs> in Minecraft, what do you get when you defeat the dragon? What do you get? Wait, blah, 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 blah. let me try that again. What do you get when you defeat the Ender Dragon? What do you get when you defeat that Ender Dragon, you guys? I know you guys know this. I know Erica. Oh, I was going to say, I know Erica knows this one. I know they play Minecraft. So she got it too. Erica Evelyn, Dragon Egg. So Erica Evelyn. She is strong at competition, you guys. Erica Evelyn. Is that weird hearing your name so much, Mom? <laughs> so there we go, Minecraft. And I know they know Disney too. They they have a lot of people knowing a lot of things. They're just they're just on it, you guys. So you got really hard competition. So Disney movie. In what Disney movie does a spoonful of sugar help the medicine go down? And this is definitely one I think more so that you can get easy too. I've never seen this movie for those of you who do know it and are going to guess it. Um, I've never seen this movie before. If you could believe that. <laughs> and I told you guys, Erica Evelyn. Erica Evelyn. Mary Poppins. Mm. Erica Evelyn. They might not get this next one. I'm going to ask another one because I only have this one left to open. The, the chibi box from Animal Jam. And I don't know which one I have. I really, really, really want the penguin. Psych, I want the bunny. <laughs> Sorry for those of you who love penguins. You know, you guys know I want the bunny. The Arctic wolf is really cute too. So is the fox and the wolf. I like wolves as well. Bunnies are my favorite, but I like wolves. And then foxes remind me of wolves. So, But yeah, I would like that. It's kind of hard because there's like a train here to see it. But yeah, there's a bunny, the Arctic wolf, fox, koala, monkey, penguin, tiger, wolf. There you go for all of you guys. So, um, all right, you guys ready? Here's something for those of you guys who use abbreviations and texting and stuff. So um, this will be for those of you guys who, who do that. So what do the letters S, M, H stand for? S, M, H. What do those three letters stand for? What's that an abbreviation for? <laughs> what do they stand for? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They know it. They know it. <laughs> Shaking my head. Erica Evelyn. You know, somebody wrote that to me and I had to look that up. I was like, what does that mean? I'm not going to ask them. So I looked it up. It's shaking my head. Like, you just can't believe it. You're shaking your head. So, all right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight questions left. At least eight. So, okay, we'll open this up. And as I'm assembling, I'll be asking questions. So. Fingers crossed for the bunny. I could not find a way to tell which one. There might be like a weight hack, but I mean, if you're at the store, you can't weigh it. And unless you're gonna buy them all and then weigh them and take back the ones you don't want, then there's not really, not really a point to it. So um, yeah, Animal Jam Chibi Blocks. And it, you know, I'm feeling it right now that it's resealable, which is really nice. There's a lot of little pieces I can feel. It's like Legos. And are you gonna open nicely for me? Maybe it will open nicely. Ah, I cannot open it. I can't get it started. And that's right where the tear stream was. Uh, tear, tear, tear thing. Tear strip. I'm lost for words. Oh, man. Come on. Don't be mean to me. Open, open. Ah. I'm going to get right down to where that that seal is, and it's not going to seal off. Oh, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's opening. It's opening. It's opening. There's a little hole if I can get in there. You know what? I'm going to borrow you for a second. There we go. See, he was useful. Haha, -ha, look at that. I am so resourceful, guys. This 
is the tool that you need to open this bag. So you must buy, you must buy the Lego first to open this. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not. It's something yellow and green. What is the green from? I think I got the tiger. I think it's the tiger. Okay, so yeah, it's the tiger. It's for whatever is on the bottom. Oh my goodness, you guys, there's so many pieces. There's so many pieces, and I'm not going to show. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so it comes as an exclusive code. I don't know what I'm going to do with my codes yet. So I might start playing Animal Jam. Who knows? But it comes with a code. All right. Oh my goodness, there's so many pieces. And I wouldn't normally mind, but I doubt I will have this assembled before the end of the, the stream, just because when I'm asking questions, I have to watch the screen. I won't be able to look down here to assemble it. So we know what I got and I will attempt. This is a good tray for putting paints in. You can just throw it away after. You get to reuse it before you throw it away. So here's the little paper that came in it. Tiger, TV blocks, checklist, and instructions. Huh, they need to give me instructions. So look at that. Three hours later. Three hours later. So. There's more of them. I come, ooh, I come in translucent. One in 400. Oh my goodness. The chances are not very high, but that'd be really cool. I'm going to Google that after and see if I see someone that has one. But the bunny is the cutest one. The bunny is my favorite. So find the ultra rare translucent penguin. Yeah, we know how hard that's going to be. That's one in 400. So that is everything on there. So let me get you guys a question. Okay. Uh, Loud House question. <laughs> I am just looking at this one. Oh my goodness. So, Loud House. What does Lily, Lily, sounded like I said that weird. So, what does Lily say a lot? What does Lily say a lot? Loud House. What does Lily say a lot? <laughs> and this is kind of, I don't know. I, I debated asking this, but if it's on that show, then. I'm sorry, guys. Don't forget to comment. Um, there you go. Kylie Sparkles got it. So don't forget to comment on the video after it posts things that you want me to ask questions about. That way I can ask questions about things you know about and you can get the answers. Kylie Sparkles. So Kylie Sparkles. You got it. All right. Um, this is a My Little Pony one. So what is Rainbow Dash's pet's, pet turtle's name? Rainbow Dash's pet turtle's name. Rainbow Dash has a pet turtle. What is the name? <laughs> go, go, nope. What is Rainbow Dash's, oh, girly games and toys. It's Tank, you're right. Don't forget screenshot if it um, came up different for you and send that to me and I will fix it, I promise. So, girly games and toys. Girly games and toys. And I did let you guys know, but I keep saying it just in case anyone's joining midway or towards the end here, that um, if you guys watch the videos that I, I from now on when I post, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna say a word um, in my video. And if you hear the word and comment it down in the comments on that video, then um, you can earn an entry into the contest. But I explained that in the video right before I say the word, and then I had it down in the um, description box too to let you know which live stream it's good for because the ones that I did prior to this will not be good for next live stream. Only the ones after today. Um, will be good for the very next live stream and so on and so forth. So just look down in the description to see which um, which live stream is going to be good for and we'll be good. So that's an easy way to get an entry and a couple entries, which is why there's so many in here today. Look at how many that is. There's so, so many. It's because a lot of people commented the words and then also from tagging their friends on Instagram, letting them know about this. So, all right, next question. Here is a trick question, you guys. So be ready. This is kind of something actually that I think a lot of people know about. But let's see. Let's see how you guys do. So how many months have 28 days in them? So how many months in the year have 28 days in them? <laughs> I'll be announcing the winner after I finish up these um, 
these questions. But if you happen to not be able to, then don't worry. I'll post the video and you can um, you can see the winners after that. <laughs> I did put them in the very beginning too, so. <laughs> so how many have, okay, Winter Noel, I saw it, Winter Noel, you got it. So how many months have 28 days in them? All of them, you guys, all of the months have 28 days in them. Some of them have more, but all of them have at least 28. So Winter Noel, I know, right? I know everyone's going like, oh my gosh, I get it. Yep, I fell for that too a long time ago. So I was like, hmm, I was trying to figure it out and it's like a really quick answer. But all of them have 28, some of them have more. So <laughs> yeah, all of them, yeah, I saw you corrected that too. So uh, let's see. Um, okay, here's a candy question. So it's another one of those ones that kind of advertise it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to assemble this to you guys because I won't be able to focus on it. Um, let's see. So the candy. So what candy is the lollipop without a stick? It says it in the commercial, the lollipop without a stick. The lollipop without a stick. And then it goes on singing. So what's the lollipop? <laughs> yeah, it was a good trick, Kristen. Oh no, you guys, Erica Ablett doesn't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you guys are gonna, no, since you're all, oh, look at that, Ella Thabet, the ring pop. Ella Thabet, maybe it's the silent D Thabet. Yep, the ring pop is a lollipop without a stick. You guys gotta go look up that commercial. The ring pop, it's a lollipop without a stick. And so I think in fun new flavors you can lick or four new flavors you can lick, something like that. Something like that. So, all right, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, okay, this one. Here is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles question, guys. That's random, isn't it? So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, Name the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that wears red. Which one wears that red uh, red mask? Which Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Wish Pops don't have a stick either, you're right, but the commercial is um, the ring pop. <laughs> Raphael, Erica, Evelyn, my goodness, yes. Um, let's see, Erica, Evelyn. Okay, who's asking for descendants? Next to descendants. Erica Eblin, I'm getting sloppier and sloppier. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. Okay, um, uh, let me change that actually. Okay, let me see how I can word this. Okay, so Mal, um, she was not given her full name by her mother. Um, why won't her mother give her her full name or when will she give her her full name? So Mal can earn her full name, but how? What does she have to do? What does her mom want her to do to earn her full name? <laughs> so, so what does she have to do? It's, it wasn't evil. So Fox and the Ducky vlogs. So yeah, um, she wants her to prove that she's evil not evil enough. So Fox and the oh my goodness, it's pretty long. I can't remember how it goes exactly. Fox and the Ducky of the vlogs. And the ducky of the vlogs. Interesting way to word that. So yeah, so she has to prove that she's evil enough before she can get that full name Maleficent. All right. 
next one I have one three questions left guys and then we're gonna end this draw this and then we're gonna draw from the other live stream the big one so all right um so we could do a question so you gotta name the next line so write the next line I'm gonna say say some lines and then you gotta write the next one that comes after it and there's actually two but I'm thinking from the beginning of the song so I'm looking for the first set of lines when they first start this so Scooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? What's the next set of words? Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? And what's the next set of words? What's the next set of words? Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We've got some work to do now. Felicia loves you. You got it. Scooby-Doo is classic. I feel like it's going to be timeless. It's going to keep coming back. It'll always be there. Felicia loves you. scooby dooby doo where are you? We've got some work for you now. Yep. Um, loud House question. So Loud House. <clears throat> Luna has what object on her shirt? Luna has what object on her shirt? <laughs> we don't know what to do now. No, Loud House. Luna has what object on her shirt? A skull. Erica Eblen, you got it. So Erica Eblen. They know Loud House, I guess, you guys. So, all right. And the last question. This is a trick question, so pay really, really, really close attention. Okay, what is heavier? One pound of rocks or one pound of feathers? What's heavier? One pound of rocks or one pound of feathers? <laughs> one pound of rocks or one pound of feathers? Oh, Ashlyn, that's what I was looking for. So you have one pound of rocks and you have one pound of feathers, one pound of each. So you have one pound and one pound. Neither of them weigh, you know, more than the other. They both weigh the same because it's one pound. Even though like one individual rock will weigh more than one individual feather, you have one pound of both objects, but they both weigh the same. So Ashlyn Reynolds, yep. The same. Ashlyn Reynolds. Oh, that's got sloppy there. So here's the last entry there. So just to let you guys know, um, you can earn entries by watching my videos and commenting the secret word in the comments down below on that video. But look in the description for which live stream it'll be good for because the last three videos that I did, they won't be good for the next live stream. So new videos that I post this week will be good for the upcoming live stream. I have one every Friday, but you can also, if you have Instagram, then you can tag friends on my post on the day. Like today I posted earlier and I said tag a friend, you get one entry um, per account. So um, not, per not per friend tag, but um, per account. So. Um, and I did, if you had done any of those things, if you commented the word um, on any of those three videos that I did on, I put your name in in the beginning and you can check the video just to make sure that I got you in there. So, um, and I'll release your comments after the video um, after this because I did hold those so that people couldn't just see it and copy it. So um, that won't work. But, um, and then also anyone who tagged somebody, I did put you in in the beginning of the video too. It took me a while, but I promise it's there. Just go have a look in case you're wondering if I put you in there. Yes, I did. So let's draw out our two winners from this and then we'll draw out our three winners from the other one. And then again, the same thing with this. I do keep all the names from this and I will have another big drawing um, at some point, just like I am doing with my other ones. So if you got your name in here this time, then it will be a second chance drawing if you don't get it today. So and then I do live streams every Friday. So if you don't win, then don't be sad because there's a lot of opportunities to win and a lot of chances to get your name in by answering questions or doing any of those things. So let's see who we got today. 
super, super full. It's never been this full before, but the other one I think is going to be more, more full. So good luck, everybody. <laughs> Oh, I got to see. Let me redraw. Okay. Isha Roberts. And if you can see, there's a little C on there. And so I know because I kept track, um, I wanted to make sure that I had them in, in order. She got this entry from commenting the um, word carrot on one of my videos. So this is just one single entry that she got from commenting on there. So, um, Good job. Thank you for watching my videos and listening all the way through. And she found that word and commented. So it is possible to win just with one entry, you guys. It's all you need is one entry to win. I know she doesn't have a lot. This might even be her only one. So Isha Roberts, contact me. And our next one. Oh, there's so many stuck together. Okay. All right, here we go. Black Kitty. And look at that. It's another person who commented on the video. So um, they commented um, on the carrot. I think that was the very first one that I started doing this on. So um, it was the gold ball that I got with Sugar Queen in it, I believe. So Black Kitty, contact me um, for, those, for those prizes. So Black Kitty and Isha Roberts. And look at that, it only takes one entry. So good job, you guys. Thank you so much. And I am going to keep all these names, just like I said, and um, they will get their own drawing, a second chance drawing. But speaking of second chance drawings, let's do this one. So anybody who had their name on a yellow piece of paper, those are in here. I've had, I think, two past live streams, but I had white paper. So if you had your name on a white piece of paper, then that's going to go in the other one. It didn't go in this one. I know I said my past live streams, but I meant any that were on um, yellow pieces of paper that way. Because if I have the white ones mixed in here, then, you know, it could be that, like, it seems like I, I picked a white one or something. But I just want to make it fair and just keep them all on the same piece of paper. So the yellow ones are separate from the white ones. So just to explain that. But. So we're going to draw three people out of here. Third place. Third place. We're going for third place right now. Third place winner. They will get 10 prizes. And good luck, everybody. All right. Okay, here we go. Kika's World. Third place. So Kika's World. I know she's got a lot in there. She goes to every single live stream. I think she might be here right now. She was earlier, I saw her, so, and she makes sure she tags her friends and everything, so she, she tries really, really hard to get in there. So, Kika's World, congratulations, you got third place. And just to explain, too, if I happen to draw um, the same name again, I will redraw um, a new name. So, um, I guess I should have said that before, but yeah, that's for, for always, forever the rule. Because um, I did it on the first stream, and I let somebody win twice, and I was kind of like, um, everybody said, well, you said you're going to have a couple winners, and... So I redid that and um, I did take care of that. But yeah, the, the rule from after that was that I was gonna draw a separate so different people have to win. So, okay, second place. Here we go, second place. There, there's Kika's world. I told you she'd probably there. So, second place, here we go, 15 prizes. These are all really, really super stuck together. Kitty Queen. <laughs> Kitty Queen with the real picture of Kitty Queen on there. So I know that there was a couple, there was two Kitty Queens in a live stream. I remember this, so I could even go back and look. But there was a Kitty Queen with a real pic of um, Kitty Queen on there. So Kitty Queen with the real pic. Message me. You won 15. You won second place. So Kitty Queen, there you go. Congratulations. <laughs> First place, you guys. First place. I feel like I'm like at a bingo hall. <laughs> I need one of those rollers. But I like the bunny. And you guys know where I got this bunny from? It's from it's filled with Easter eggs. So I got it from Easter. But it works perfect because it's see-through. You can see there's nothing in there before and you can see them go in. So it works really good. First place. Okay guys, this is the moment. Are they all stick together. 
Okay, I'm gonna shake it again because it's getting stuck together. Okay. Let me in. All right. Here's one. Okay, it's Kika's world again, so we know the rule. I've got to draw a new winner. I told you she had a lot in there. Here we go. Oh, one fell out. Let me put it back in. Okay. Here we go. This is got like four stuck to it. Erica Evelyn, and she does come to my live streams a lot too. So I know she has a lot in there as well. So the best thing to do to get a lot of entries is to come to all the live streams and get as many entries by commenting those secret words and then tagging friends if you can and just being real quick. And don't forget to comment what you want me to ask questions about because that makes it a better chance that you're going to answer things before everybody else because you know about it. So Erica Evelyn, first place, congratulations. So first place goes to Erica Evelyn. Second to Kitty Queen, and then third place to Kika's World. So that closes up all my yellow named entries. All the um, white papered ones will be um, maybe a few weeks, because I know it's going to be pretty full now that I have this different way of entering. So um, congratulations, you three. And you guys know how to contact me, but it also is down in the comments. Um, I only use Instagram really for messaging if you want to go that way uh, at sugar bunny hops or my email so uh, at uh, sugar bunny hops at gmail.com you can also write in the comments too and um, but don't put your personal information there and I know two of them at least know then to do that so um, but yeah so thank you guys so so much for coming it's a lot of fun and um, I think that's it so I will see you guys next Friday, next live stream, but watch for those videos. That way you can comment that word and get an entry in. So see you next time. Bye.